Hello, everyone, and welcome back to On the Boat, behind the scenes of One Piece. I have another straw hat with me today. For those watching, who are you and who do you play? My gosh, that's such a tough question. I know. I toughest, know. That's the toughest ones you're going to have. I've got to go. No. Come on. <laughs> I'm Stephanie Young, and I voice Robin. <laughs> Now tell me a little bit about Robin. You know, what, what is it like playing Robin? It's fantastic. Yeah. I I have fallen in love with her over the years yeah. that I have been voicing her. It's not often that that I get to voice a character that is around for such a long period of time that has such an interesting character arc mm -hmm. that has so many different emotional levels that she travels through and and I love the fact that she's, I'm just going to be honest, she's really nice on my voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a singer, and it's really nice to have a character that usually is really controlled, mm -hmm. not too much screaming, mm -hmm. unlike my other friends on the boat. Yes. They're always screaming. They got to scream a lot. Scream a lot. You know, mm -hmm. I feel for them. But um, she's just, she's fantastic, and she's cool. And, and she I'm, sits, as, as people who are now watching and witnessing, she sits very close to just your speaking voice. She does. Yeah. She does. So that's, so. that's got to be a comfortable thing as well. It is so nice. <laughs> it is lovely. You can call me in at 10 a.m. Yeah. You can call me in at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. It's all going to Just be good. Get some Robin. It's like it's Robin. It's going to sound like this. Although lately, well, we've, we've been through some challenging moments. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but I just, I want to, she's so, she's so smart and she's so collected. But then she has her moments where she gets in touch with her vulnerability and She's just such a challenging character. I love mm. her. I want to be her someday. <laughs> Part of her. Part of her. <laughs> Part of her. Would you, take, would you take the powers? Would those I be full power? I would take those powers. Yeah. You know how quickly you could get things done? That would be awesome. You know, you could be typing over here, cleaning over here, writing over here. You mm -hmm. know, I don't know that I would take down fleets of, you know, of ships. ships. Yeah. But, yeah, I'd take that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Ocho Clue. <laughs> What the? Capote! And now flip. <laughs> Perfect! Now's our chance! Do you recall what it was like in the initial like audition process and maybe the first couple of uh, recording sessions? Uh, what, what are your recollections of that? Absolutely. Well, first I remember you. Yeah? I remember you telling me that, you know, the show was a big deal. Okay. Which was cool. And everybody was all abuzz about One Piece. <laughs> and I thought, well, okay, you know, I just, I just will be happy to be in this show, honestly. But then when you told me that you, you know, what characters I was reading for, I think it may, it may have just been Robin. Mm -hmm. But I remember looking at her photo and then reading her character description and thinking, oh, this would be so great. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to get my hopes up, you know. And lo and behold, it all worked out. I remember the callback. Yeah. Vividly. I was actually going to the opera that night. Okay, and like you do. Yeah, like I do every you know, night. You know, the opera. I Must wish. be a day ending in Y, going I to the wish, opera. I wish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it was a special occasion, and I just remember it was this wonderful night where I got to go in and do the callback with you, and it was really exciting, and then go off to the opera. And then maybe it was a month later? It was a long time. There was a big window of time where we had to let uh, Toye and everyone else who uh, had to have a, a say-so in the matter sign off on uh, the Straw Hat crew. Yeah, and, and knowing that they were listening to our voices was just, that was a little nerve-wracking, honestly. Mm. But then when I found out that I was going to have the opportunity to voice her, I was so overwhelmed with gratitude. I was so excited. I have you as well, the world's most dangerous woman, Nico Robin. What has been your favorite moment with Robin so far, or a few of your favorite, favorite moments? You know... It's interesting because for the, in the beginning when we were recording together, 
she was always so calm and collected. Again, we know when we were at battle, everyone else was, ah! and she was like, let's do this. Mm -hmm. Just very calm and cool. But lately, you know, even starting with Annie's Lobby and moving beyond, it's been really deep and dark. Mm -hmm. And I have enjoyed that as an actress so much. It's been really difficult. We, yeah. You were there. Yes. No. I was all over it. Starting somewhere in the midst of Water 7, yeah. um, Robin went through a whole bunch of emotional changes or emotional shifts or whatever that hasn't uh, had not been displayed in the show before. And with that comes the shift in the way that the material is approached with the voice. There's lots of things that Robin have had to cry out, scream out, et cetera, et cetera, that Robin's normally very collected. <laughs> you know, since it, it was such an interesting part of the story and after recording her for years, and feeling so connected with her, as dorky as that sounds, mm -hmm. but so absolutely connected with this character. Um, it was heartbreaking to go through these moments with her, but I didn't mind, you know, the screaming and the yelling and the crying and mm -hmm. all of that, because that was just such an interesting part of the story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was deep, deep, dark, hard stuff. Yes. But it was, it's nice to see that she's even opening, well, she's opening up, that her friends have her back there right, for right. her. That whole part of the story is so touching. And I love the fact that this show, you know, not to make this an after school special moment or anything, but mm -hmm. it, it is, it has these really wonderful themes of friendship and loyalty. And I love the fact that it's so quirky, it's so yeah. interesting, and then it gets really dark. But throughout it all, there are these people that love each other. Mm -hmm. You know, to say you can, you know, you can't you choose your family, but you can choose your friends. Mm -hmm. Your friends can become your family. Right. And, and it's become that for them. Yeah. And, you and know. it's you know, and it's it's obviously a a misfit family too. So <laughs> the the outcasts of uh, of the world and the outcasts of this world have someone to cling to and, and people to cling to for each other. Yeah, you know, love it, that. It's a nice message. It is. It's yeah. great. It's great. So at least you know when you're in the the deep dark water, you know you, she gets to come out on the other side. You know, with her people. Mm -hmm. I love that. With the peeps. With her peeps. No, it's over. This is the last time you'll see me. None of that matters! I won't stand for this! Yeah! Damn Robin! It's not her fault! Of course it is, Nami! Why doesn't she want us to rescue her? It doesn't make sense! Because she doesn't want to feel responsible for all the awful things that'll happen to our crew once we do! I don't care about all that! If we don't rescue her, she's gonna be killed, isn't she? There's no way she wants to die, so we're gonna save her! Well, of course she doesn't want to die, but still... Let it go. This doesn't change what we have to do. We'll save her either way. I'm gonna beat up every last one of them! There's a new move I want to try! Now, you briefly touched on it, especially with the uh, the changes through Water 7 and East Lobby. Mm -hmm. What sort of challenges do you face emotionally and physically when you're playing Robin? Like, what do you have to do with the mind, and what do you have to do to kind of warm up or gear up, or, or you know, is there a certain place where you hold your voice or hold yourself when you record? Yes. Actually, knowing where we were going to be during those days. I love coming here. I mm -hmm. love doing this. I love this work. We have fun together. Mm -hmm. But in this dark part of the script, Honestly, music has a big influence on me and what I do, mm. and even what I listened to in the car coming here. Oh, yeah? I would listen to kind of emotional stuff. I knew it was going to be dark and hard. And not, not that it was difficult to get there, um, especially when there were any flashbacks of her childhood and mm -hmm. seeing baby Robin. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking. But uh, physically, I, I do have to watch it. I don't have Teflon cords where I can just scream for days. Mm -hmm. I have to be careful especially um, sing, and if I have to sing that night, which you right. are always very considerate, which I always appreciated. I try. Fantastic, because you're a singer, too. Mm. You get it. But um, so I would have to really, you know, make sure. I'd try to give 100% each time to try to get, you know, what what we needed vocally. Um, and then sometimes you just have to let it go. Mm -hmm. Completely just let it go. Um, but for me, just mentally trying to get into that place with her, that that darker place, um, you know, that's not the easiest thing to do, but once you're in there, you know, it's it's well written. Mm -hmm. and, and the people that I was working off of are fantastic. So it's not, when you have some of those other voices there, it's so much easier to get where you need to be. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but I, I just remember even afterwards with you, just there aren't that many times where I've teared up 
in the booth mm -hmm. when it wasn't called for in the story. Right. When I've had the opportunity to work on something that I felt so emotionally connected to that afterwards... A little bit drained. It was, it was, you were drained and tired and beaten up, and it was, it was great as an actor to be able to do that, but just the tearing up and crying. You were too. Yes, I was. <laughs> Which was great. But, um, oh, gosh, just leaving, had to let it go and <laughs> find a happy place to get, change the music in the car. Yeah, going to drive up. <laughs> <laughs> Turning. <laughs> Oh gosh, I can't. It's been a long time since that's ha since that's happened with me here and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the Funimation. And, you know, it's great. But boy, I remember I would come back and say, "Oh, I can't wait to get through this patch right. for her." Be back to Robin something. being chill. Yeah, for Robin being, you know, she could be a warrior and she could be fighting and planning, but just this this gut wrenching arc of hers. Mm -hmm. But you know, the fans prepared me for it mm -hmm. in a way. I don't like to read ahead often for characters. I like to be surprised when I get in the booth. Doesn't matter all of the story. I just, it's nice to come in and... It's a fresh read, a fresh, you know. Yeah, and you, you haven't figured out ahead of time how you're going to be or anything like that. But from the different conventions I've been to, fans, a few different people gave me, you know, that um, gave me the manga for that and mm -hmm. said, you need to read this. It was pretty great. Like, no, you, you you need to look at this. Yeah. You need to know what's coming. Right. And I thought that was that was really fantastic that they cared to do that. And uh, I remember I was on a plane after one of the conventions reading through, and I thought, oh, how bad can it be? Mm. I was just looking at her childhood right. and her past. It's and one piece. It's, ah, uh, and then just, you know. Straw hat childhoods. On the plane. <laughs> Those are sad things. It will tear you to shreds. Yes. I'll be fine. But I need you to take care of Robin for me, please. Huh? But why? What about you? Are you going to come with me? Olvia, are you? I can't leave yet. There's something left to do. No, Mom! You can't leave me now! I'll stay here with you! <laughs> I don't want to lose you again! Robin, if you're a scholar of Ohara, you should know that history is mankind's greatest treasure. Now that it's been passed on, it will illuminate the path to your future. How do you feel that Robin has grown? Like, since she was introduced into the show, and knowing her backstory and whatever else, how do you feel that she's grown uh, as a character? The fact that she has learned to trust people, knowing that what she went through as a child, mm -hmm. the horrors that she went through as a child, and then going to the dark side to struggle, just to survive. You know, it's amazing how she survives, but I'm glad that she finally found a good group of people, a good group of pirates mm -hmm. <laughs> that she's with. But the fact that over time that she's learned to open up and trust them and, and find even her own lighter side of life come back to her. Um, and even just voicing the character, how she was so controlled in the, in the beginning and now as she opens up in her trusting, she's becoming more you know, alive and energetic and expressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, it just amazes me that she didn't think she was worthy of any kind of love. I'm not going to cry here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but that she was that she was worth it. Right. You know? And uh, I don't know. I, it's pretty incredible that in the show that that she was able to find some people that, that she could love and then feel that kind of self-worth that, that would be there for her. Right. Mm -hmm. you, know, I, I, you know, I'm in space or a warrior or a scientist or all these, these dominating female chicks that I get to voice that I love. But, mm -hmm. but just to see this side of, of her... As strong as she is and as powerful as she is to go through that, that's that self-realization. Mm -hmm. It's pretty great. Mm -hmm. Outside of Miss Robin, who would you consider to be your favorite straw hat and why? And if you can't pick one, then give me like one or two. That's really hard. I know. It's like that's pick, so hard. Which which of your best friends is your best best best? I know. Friend? Really, it's picking favorite <laughs> children or something. Yeah. Um, well, I love Chopper. Mm -hmm. And, and this is probably also, you know, influenced by the fact that Robin and Chopper have this connection. Um, I'm also blown away by with Brina Palencia and then her performance as that character. Mm -hmm. um, he's just, he's so interesting and sweet. He's also the other academic that's on the boat with Robin, so mm -hmm. there's definitely that connection. But then every time that I hear Colleen voice Luffy, mm -hmm. I still can't believe it's her. Yeah. I can't believe that that's her. It's, <laughs> it's incredible. Just as a voice actor, I'm, I'm blown away at her ability to just transform her voice into something completely different. Yeah. And then they're all, yeah, that's so hard. That's so hard. Because all the, the actors on the show are just fantastic. I'm just thankful to be in the group. Mm -hmm. But they are. They're just such fantastic actors. Um, 
And of course, you know, Zora's attitude is a whole lot of fun. It's hilarious. I, I love the episodes when, you know, whenever Robin is challenging him or, you know, bossing him around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Who doesn't want to boss around Chris Savage? Just a little bit. Yes, it's fun to do that. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> All, everyone, everyone is amazing. You know, Sunny, Sunny Screaming is, 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 I'm going to name all of them. Yes, this you are. So I just, I'm watching I'm you sorry. do it. sorry. I'll stop. I think they're all, <laughs> they're all incredible. They are. And I'm, I'm glad that I actually know these people in real life, you yeah. know? So they're friends and it's nice to see them, you know, do their work on the show for all these years to be able to work together. Mm. So I can't. I don't know. Indeed. Hard <laughs> to pick. Having second thoughts now? It's too late for that. Anything else you'd like to say to the One Piece fans out there? Absolutely. You guys are amazing. And whenever I get the wonderful opportunity to meet you, I love it. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the love. I know that we all feel it. And uh, we just can't wait to continue going on this journey with you. So, thanks. Well, thanks so much for being here. Be here. <laughs>